My name is Eric Solman. I'm a radiation oncologist and a professor and vice chair of research in the department at NYU. I'm also the co-director of the Brain and Spine Tumor Center there. I think like almost anyone in oncology, I had a member of my family, a close member of my family, uh, affected by cancer that ultimately took her life. And certainly that was part of my decision to go into oncology. I'm someone who likes the technical aspects of the treatment that I give. I like that it's very focused, and for that reason I went into radiation oncology, where we can direct our treatment, much like a surgeon, to a very focused part of the body, just to the tumor and spare the normal tissues. It's a very effective treatment. It uh, has a, a major impact in patients with brain tumors, and I was very drawn to that. I'm conducting a study using multiple, what we call models, or cell lines, that came originally from patients at the time of surgery from their tumors to study the effects of various drugs that inhibit the DNA damage response in glioblastoma. And these cell lines have been modified in a way that we can combine them all together despite the fact they came from many other individuals and study these drugs in a very high throughput fashion. Because of the DDRC consortium, it, we're able as scientists to collaborate at a level that we've never been able to do before. Uh, many of us knew each other before the DDRC was founded, but not all of us did. We only knew each other by reputation and by the science that we focus on. And this has allowed us to really form new collaborations, to work very closely together. And the combination of these laboratories and clinicians has allowed us to do innovations that we just wouldn't have done otherwise.